In cases, we not only have one or two data that we want to plot, but three data. So if we have two data, we can use um, an XY scatter plot. So for example, something like this, magnesium and silicon, here 20, 22 percent, weight percent, and so on, and 18, 19, uh, silicon, and so on. And we can use a scatter plot and plot magnesium versus silicon and put in all our data into this plot. No problem. Now assume we have a third one we want to plot, like calcium, like 7, 5, and so on. And for this we need a third axis, but we don't have a third axis in an XY plot. And this is why we then use a triangular plot or ternary plot um, in which we can actually plot all three data. So in this one is there's then magnesium, silicon, and calcium. Now the question is, how do we plot data into this ternary plot here? First, we need to recalculate our, our data here. And how we do this is very simple. We use, for example, calcium and divide this by magnesium plus silicon plus calcium. And then we can multiply it by 100 if you want to, then we have um, 100 renormalized to 100 or 1, doesn't matter. And then um, we exchange calcium for magnesium and silicon and do this for all three elements. And then we get um, a renormalized set of numbers that if we then these new numbers of for magnesium, silicon and calcium add together, will result in 100 or in 1 depending whether multiplied by 100 or, or not. So how do we plot this then into, this, into, into the turning? So assume we have calcium, calcium up here, only calcium. There's 100% calcium in here. And then we go down this line or this line only, only towards silicon or towards magnesium. And here we would have something like 80% calcium, 60% calcium, and so on. And down at silicon, there's only silicon left, so 100% silicon, but um, at zero percent calcium. And the other way around, there's then 80% silicon, 60% silicon, and this would then be 40%, 20%, and zero percent silicon. And of course, we can do the same in this direction. So there would also be 80% silicon, 60% silicon, and then here, zero, 20, 40, and so on. Um, not entirely to scale. And the same here, 80, 60, and so on. Um, and the same also for, for magnesium, so zero magnesium, but then 20, 40, and so on. So this is 20, for, um, sorry, 80, 60, oh, that's not good. But so that's 80 and 60, and here's also 80 and 60. Now, in, in, in both directions, from magnesium, for example, in this and in this, there's 80% here, 80% here. Then we can connect these two, and if one point falls on this line, it means it, has 80, it contains 80% silicon, uh, magnesium, sorry, in this case magnesium. And for the connection here, if a point falls on here, it means 60% magnesium. And then we can draw the, the lines for all these elements, so for silicon, so point falls on here, it has 60% silicon. It doesn't matter whether it falls on here or here, anywhere on this line it has 60% silicon. And of course the same for the calcium. So we can make all these lines in here and then quite easily if it falls on here say or falls on here say, it has 80 or 60% calcium. And this is how we read this in this ternary diagram. And I would like to show this again a little bit more on an interactive um, plot and it should become even more clear. So in this case, um, there's not uh, elements on the axis, but minerals, but it doesn't really matter. So there's phosphorite, sil um, silica, and anorthite. And I can put this, this point anywhere on this, on this plot here. So for example, I put it exactly on this spot. And then the green ones are the silicon lines, so it means this is 90. 80, 70, 60% silicon, and this is what we can see here, what we should expect, so this is the green one. Um, the red ones here are anorthite, I could count from here or from down here, here's zero anorthite, 10, 20, so this should be 20% anorthite, which we can see. And phosphorite are the blue lines here, 
I'll count from here. So this is zero, um, 10, 20, so 20% force, right? This is it. So by this, I can very easily um, plot a point or, or read out the data from the ternary. Um, if, I, if I go on here and I think, okay, should be 10% SiO2 um, and should be 30% force to right and then 60 unauthorized. So I can check it and I can see that this is correct. And this is how ternary diagrams work. In principle, ternaries are used in, in many cases also as phase diagrams or chemographic in, in metamorphic context. Um, but the principle is always the same how you plot data in a ternary as you've just seen here.